If you solve this question, you have a good chance to go into Oxford University. Let's go. An irregular hexagon with four sides of equal length is placed inside the square of side length 1, as shown below. What is the length of one of the hexagon sides? So, the first information is that we have an irregular hexagon with all sides of equal length. The second information is that the side of a square has length 1. And the question is asking us to find the side of the hexagon that we are going to call X. So, we have to find X. How we are going to proceed? Let's draw the main diagonal of this square here. Now, let's detach this triangle. We have that this side is equal 1. This side is also equal 1. And the hypotenuse, let's call it C. We can find it by applying the Pythagoras theorem. Note that we can do it because this angle here is a right angle. We have that C squared equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. C equals the square root of 2. Note that this side is equal to this one. So this angle is 45 and this angle is also 45. So now let's detach this smaller triangle here. This side here is equal to 1 minus x. This side here is also equal to 1 minus x. And the hypotenuse here it's the side of our hexagon that we have denoted by x. So, this angle here, it's a right angle. And note that here is 45 and here is 45. So, guess what? These two triangles are similar and we are going to apply triangle similarity. So, meaning that this side divided by the corresponding side in this triangle is equal to the hypotenuse of this triangle divided by the hypotenuse of the other triangle which is square root of 2 divided by x. So let's make the cross multiplication. We are going to obtain that x equal square root of 2 times 1 minus x. It's equal to square root of 2 minus square root of 2x. We are going to pass this term with a positive sign to the other side. Now we are going to factor out x to obtain that x multiplied by 1 plus square root of 2 equal square root of 2. We are going to pass this expression dividing to the other side to obtain that x equals square root of 2 divided by 1 plus square root of 2. But see, we don't have this option here. So now let's try to rationalize the denominator. To do so, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator conjugate, which is 1 minus square root of 2. So the numerator will be square root of 2 minus 2. And the denominator, this is a very well-known algebraic expression, which is the differences of squares. So here will be the first term squared minus the second term squared. So it will be 1 minus 2. Here is 2 because square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 is 2, right? So x is equal to square root of 2 minus 2 divided by minus 1 to get rid of the minus 1 we multiply the numerator the numerator by minus 1 and the final answer is 2 minus square root of 2 which is b see now we can get it to oxford now choose one of the problems in the screen to continue practicing see you